What's up everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am back with a brand new tutorial. So let's jump straight into it. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this globe zoom in from space or zoom out from the globe to space effect. It's pretty hard to describe, but it's pretty much really easy once you guys see it. You guys will know what I'm talking about. So I saw this effect in Devon Super Tramps like wrap up 2018 video and as soon as I saw it I started searching it up seeing how I can recreate this and I actually used it in my last vlog if you guys wanted to check it out it's up here or somewhere up here two apps that you need is any kind of video editor preferably Premiere Pro or After Effects and basically any video editor will work but I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro and then you need Google Earth Pro so those are the only two apps that you will need for this effect so Google Earth Pro is free. Let's jump into it and I'll show you guys what we have to do. All right guys, so once you guys are in Google Earth Pro, it might look a little different from mine. You might have a little circle, navigation circle over here, a little zoom in thing over here. I don't have that. So let me just quickly show you guys what settings you guys wanna have uh, while you guys are making this effect. So you wanna go to view over here and just copy all these settings. You wanna have toolbar on, sidebar on, atmosphere on, and water surface checked. Then when you go down over here to the layers, you want to make sure that only your 3D buildings and terrain are checked. Alright, now we're ready to set our points. Depending on what you want your video to look like, whether you're zooming in from space or you're zooming in from a specific location, it, it the process is basically the same. So for this instance, I'm going to be zooming out from a location. So over here in the search tab, I will search up my location. So my video that I'm going to be zooming out from, it was a drone shot from Montreal Village. So I'll click on that and then you click search. Then it's going to slowly zoom in to the place that you have, uh, that you, where you want to start from. Once you're at the spot that you want to zoom out from, once again, if you want to zoom out from space, just position your earth where you want to zoom in from. And then you want to click this yellow pin over here. All right, so once you have this marked, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this uh, village. You want to make sure you drag that into your temporary places and you want to uncheck that for the moment. All right, so now I want this to zoom out into space. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to zoom out from Earth like this. And I feel like about here should be good. And I'm going to place once again another marker and name this space. And there we go. It automatically adds itself to temporary places. So let's say I wanted to zoom in to Toronto, downtown Toronto, because let's say my house is in downtown Toronto, and I'm just gonna place it, search, and this thing's gonna zoom in to Toronto. All right, so this is too far for me, so I'm just gonna zoom in all the way. One thing I forgot to mention was this was off. You can always use this to uh, adjust the way you want, um, you know, kind of zoom in to here more like this. In my opinion, this would look much better. I'm going to place another marker and name this Toronto and drag that into temporary places and uncheck it. There, you want to make sure that they are in the order that it's going to zoom out and zoom into. Once you have everything finished, you are going to want to go to tools. Sorry, you're going to, you're going to want to go to view, go to show navigation and press never and you're going to be back to the way I had it before. All right, now you want to go to your very first place. Whether you're zooming out from this place or you're zooming in from Earth, you just want to go to your very first point. Press this record a tour button. You're going to press it and then you're going to press the record button and you're going to start recording. So I'll wait a couple of seconds, then I'll zoom out into space. Pretty sure you have to double click. It's going to zoom out into space by itself. Once it's done, I'll wait a second, double click on Toronto, and it's going to zoom into Toronto. And once that's zoomed in, I'll end the recording. Once you're done recording, you want to press this button over here and name this, let's just name it a uh, tour one and press OK. Then you want to make sure you close this and it's time to export your video. All right, so make sure your tour one is unselected. You go to tools and you want to click movie maker. All right, so you want to make sure that tour one or whatever you named your tour is selected and you obviously want to 
save your save your video wherever you want to so in this instance i'm just gonna save it to my desktop and then quick settings you can make this whatever you want i made it 60 frames per second because that's what my uh sequence was in premiere pro you want to make sure that your picture quality is set to maximum and you can change it to h.264 if you want to but i'm just gonna leave it at a mjpeg just because it is a mp4 file and then you can press create movie this might take a while so go downstairs take a snack all right once your tour is finished recording we're done with google earth pro so you can close it for now all right once in your premiere you want to order your clips basically in this direction so if you're zooming from a place into space you want to place the clip that you want to zoom out from at at the beginning so you want it to play first then you'll transition into the zoom out or the whole tour thing effect that you just finished recording and then at the end the clip that you want to zoom into so my tour starts to zoom from here i'll just delete the beginning of this video and drag the video over closer to my zoom out clip so the effect is pretty much done but as you can see there's no zoom out from over here so it looks a little bit weird it looks a little better when I'm coming in over here, but it just doesn't look as clean as the example of my vi at the beginning of this video did. What you want to do to make this more clean is you want to add a zoom out transition over here in between these two clips, and you want to add a zoom in transition in between these two clips. Now, I'm not going to show you how to make this in this video, so that it would double the length of this video. I'll just apply one of my presets. Over here, I have my presets. I'm just going to apply these quickly and make the zoom out transition and zoom in transition you can make these zoom out transitions and zoom in transitions by yourself by looking at some tutorials or you can go down to the link in the description of this video and the link will take you to a video which showcases a free smooth transition pack you can download that or obviously you can make the transition by yourself by watching some other tutorials online all right guys so i just added the zoom out effect over here and then I added a zoom in effect over here. So this is how the finished product looks like. I hope this video guys helped you out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And subscribe if you guys are new for, new for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.